Hi everyone, I hope you enjoy my tropical colour eyelid makeup tutorial. So first of all, I've already put some primer on and I'm going to go in with this. Put the Sephora palette again. It's full of colour, that's what's exciting as you see. I went crazy. I'm using this gold here. So just pat that on over the eyelid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to about three quarters of the way in or three quarters of the way out if we're starting here just 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 above the crease not a lot but really make sure you get this is like a gold color it's a goldy uh, goldy yellow it's lovely now there's two here there's that one and the one above I'm using that one there so I'm using a blender brush I'm going to dip it into that forest green. It's like a forest green. And that's what we got. And I'm going to put my little finger on my cheek just to steady my hand. And off I go, blending back and forth in the outer corner of the crease. Just give it a good blending. And as you can see, you get a bit of colour coming on. Does anybody look nice up close? Now I'm using an, a light ivory colour and a big brush here now and I'm going to just pop that on to the eyebrow bone and this just gives a little bit extra highlight and bring it right down onto the inner corner of the nose and now this is a matte shade it's not got any shimmer in and it just lifts the eyebrows that little bit better so giving that a good blend just pushing it inward now really you might want a little bit more on the outer corner just to really darken it now I want to take the gold that I went in with before and I'm going to put that just underneath on the lower lash line And I'm going to go in with a beautiful blue to show you. It's this one here. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that. And this is what we're going to put along. So just whichever way you want to start, doesn't matter. Just get it on in there. And we're going to bring it just a little way onto the yellow. But not a great deal if you see we've got a bit of a gap. push that out and up and then I'm going to do something without a corner same brush I'm going to go in with a, a black sparkly black and I just want to push that to the outer part it just gives a bit of a depth to it, it gives a bit of depth to the look I go right in there like that and then when we get the outer corner I'm just pushing it and when I say pushing, I'm hardly putting any pressure on. I'm just letting the brush go where it needs to go. Now, I want that bit blended a little bit better than that. So I'm just going to gently push the brush. Just tickle the eyelid even. Now, white pencil. love white pencil. And I have a feeling this is going to just drag. But never mind. I'm using NYX, NYX, you've got to put a canny bit on to really get the white effect. Oh yes, lashes. Right, I'm using Ardell's Black Demi Wispies. Got me glue here. So let's get them on. Get your lashes. Keep your hands away from the top because if you get glue on your hands, liquid liner. I'm using this one. It's just so quick to apply. It's really intense and it's cheap. So finger on cheek and off we go. When I get to the outer corner, I don't want anything special. I usually have flicks and stuff but 
I don't know, I just haven't felt like doing it lately. But I have been raising it in the middle. It changes the eye shape a bit, it makes it nice. You can actually change the appearance of your eye shape just by how you apply your eyeliner. Let's see if we can get these on without getting it in the eye. So pop them over your natural lash line. Somebody asked me if it was okay to put them under your lash line because they've seen somebody else do, else do it. It is okay. However, I don't think I would like to have glue that close to me eyeball. I think your natural lashes are a good shield for the glue. All I'm doing is popping the lashes into place. Let's pair tweezers, just be careful you don't poke your eye out. And just make sure you get them right in there. And just bond with your finger. Fluff them into place. Fluff them to where you're happy. I'm taking a small mascara brush. I'm finding this really handy now that I've got the false lashes on all the time. With it being small, you can bond your natural lashes together with the falsies and it doesn't make your lashes come through too much quite good so I will go a bit on the side here I don't want it so thick so I'm just gonna get rid of that a bit Okie dokie dokie, I think we're done with eyes. Zoom it out. We Right. Now, for cheeks, I've took a couple of different things. Just been playing about. I found this one here. I think it's cubic. I'm going to have a peek. No, it's buff. I lied. Okay. So it's by MAC. It's called Buff. And I'm taking a synthetic brush. And in no particular order, I'm just swooshing that across the cheeks. Just to give a bit of extra colour. And then up into the temples. Using a smaller brush, quite flat. Dipping it into the pink, which I'm sure is pink swoon. I shall check. Yep, pink swoon. Tap off. Just dab like that. And you can see the colour coming along. I'm not even, I'm just stippling it into the cheeks. I'm using it into the top of the cheekbone so you can feel that there's bone there and not just a bit of chub. It's very pink. It's by MAC and it is, have a look, it's amplified, it's a cream rather than a shimmer or a, a matte. <laughs> but there you go. I really hope you enjoy my tropical eyes makeup look it's something that i think i'm going to be wearing tomorrow actually so i hope i've at least inspired you to have a little play with your own makeup colors and i'll see you in a bit <laughs> zoom zoom